Hey, you all, I am finishing up my morning run and I thought I'd do a video this morning because I had a thought after a session with one of my favorite longtime clients last night who has had a really tough year. She's had a couple of DNFs and that is not her thing. That is not what she, of course, wants. None of us do. But even though they've been hard and we have worked with her brain, not to make that mean anything about her, it's been a hard year of some DNFs that she didn't expect to have. But the learning that she has gotten from those DNFs has been so incredibly powerful. We have really mined those. And she said last night, she said, I'm just truly excited about my last DNF because so many things went right. And I learned so much and I really feel like I've cracked the code on this, that, and the other. And what occurred to me after that session was that she used to go for perfection. She used to think she needed to do everything perfectly to get a finish and to get the finish she wanted. And we really worked hard on that. We laugh about it now. And so it occurred to me that, and I see this in tons of other runners, not just her. So I really wanted to pass this on. It occurred to me that you can either go for perfection in following your training plan and in executing a race or you can go for powerful and powerful is going to require you to have some fails to have some dnfs to learn from those to pick yourself up to learn how to pick yourself up to have the self-trust and the relationship with yourself that you know you can pick yourself up and do it again so for all of you who are stuck on doing things perfectly, your training plan or the race or whatever, know that you've got to make a choice. Really, you can choose between perfection and powerful, and I hope you go for the second one. All right, that's it. See ya.